Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> How's everybody doing on this third day? Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. How's everybody doing? I'll tell you, I was going to go out there, but the rain and the wind. I, I was going to go out there to show you how Pinky looks now. All of her wings, I mean, her... <laughs> Leaves are just about gone, and then the only thing left on poor little Pinky is the little round balls, and they are colored yellow. I think they're yellow. Let's see if the wind died down enough. I got my hat on, and I got my coat over here. My raincoat. I got my raincoat. Um, I'll put. I'm gonna put this coat on just to. Let's see. I'm not afraid of the water. I'm just afraid something might blow. See, I lost so much weight, y'all. All my clothes are getting too big. Look at this. Look at this coat. I mean, you can't see it because I'm sitting down, but, you know, you can tell it's too big. I think this is a 1X. And all my other coats mainly are 2Xs. So I've got, like, one coat that I've been wearing, you know, because the other ones look like they're swallowing me up. Okay. Let's see y'all. Let's see if I can get a shot of pink. Hold on. Let's see how bad the wind is blowing. Ooh. Maybe I could do it right from here instead of going out. Turn it around. I don't know. See that? Let me see. I'm going to walk out here. There she is. There she is, y'all, in all her glory. There's hardly any leaves left. And, uh, I don't know if that's a little baby pinky down there. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, that's how she's looking. And this whole day is wet. When I woke up this morning, it was wet. And I think when I get ready to go to bed, it's wet. Raindrops falling on my head. Oh, boy. But that wasn't so bad. You know, it, it really wasn't that cold out there. I'm surprised because I got my heat, my little space heaters are going in here. But, uh, uh, uh it doesn't feel that. I hope I'm recording. Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel that cold. Let me see what's happening in the front. I don't know. You know what time it is? It's, um, what time is it? One one thirty-five in the afternoon on the Saturday on this third day of Vlogmas. Ah, yeah. Ooh, the crows, they ain't shut them up. I heard one of them out here. Nothing in the mailbox. And, it's, and the rain continues. Which, like I say, you know, the rain don't bother me. Because I went to the store and got what I need. It, it was not necessarily what I need, but what I wanted. And uh, what I wanted was some color greens. And I got them bad boys in the pot. Matter of fact, I just turned. Let's see. See what's going on. I got cabbage over here. Cabbage. They're steaming. But the cabbage is not done. Oh, that's some salt pork. I cooked my cat, my collard greens in. I don't know if you can see them collard greens down in there. Ain't that many. Because I only bought like one bunch. I bought one bunch of collard greens. And I got some leftover barbecue, which is in the freezer. I got to take that out. This is what I'm going to have today. I, don't know. I hope it's going to be enough for today and tomorrow. But it's just me. Should be more than enough. And so, um... I still got some stew beef, but I don't want no more of that. I had that two days already. And so today I'm just going to have, I got to make a little piece of cornbread. And I might make a little dab of um, potato salad. Sounds like, okay, well, I'll keep putting these on. Sounds like Thanksgiving all over again, right, y'all? Well, oh, excuse me. My hands are so dry. I've been washing my hands like crazy. And I put my head on so y'all couldn't see my nappy head. 
Well, you know, I ain't really combing my hair today. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting there. I'm going to get around to it. Trust me. I get around to it on a daily. Uh, but right now I'm feeling kind of tired. I, I mean, I don't know if I want to cut the pots off. But I got up. Let me tell you. I got up this morning around 8 o'clock. And I did a little this, a little bit of that. Not much at all, just a little bit of something, something. I think I got the, the little dishes out of the sink, which I didn't have many. I never do, never have them. Very seldom I have a whole bunch of dishes. It's like, you know, when I'm um, doing a lot of cooking like I did on Thanksgiving, I had a lot of dishes there. But I was washing them as I go. I mean, it takes, ooh, it takes a toll on you. Believe me, and you're washing these things manually because, you know, I don't hardly, I hardly ever use my dishwasher anyway. I use my dishwasher for, store, you know, like I got pots and pans in there that I'm, you know, storing in the uh, dishwasher <clears throat> because a lot of times I don't have enough room, enough space to put my dishes, I mean my uh, pots and pans. And so I said, well, hey, put them right in the dishwasher when I need, you know, I got just a few, just like a, I think it's three, three frying pans down there. One flip pan, you know, which is con uh, two frying pans together. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I got my roasting pan down there, my cookie sheet. And, well, there's quite a few things in there if you think about it. And my little cast iron pan that I used to fry my potatoes in, I got that in there. But <clears throat> if I wanted to use a dishwasher, I would have to take, you know, those out. But I don't have enough dishes to be washing in no dish, you know, in no dish. Oh, that's my pot boiling, finally, those cabbage. <clears throat> and I don't know why I have to keep clearing my throat when as soon as I come up here. My throat was not doing this. But like I say, sometimes that happens when you start, when I start talking, it, it clears everything up. Everything's got to, you know, get cleared, <clears throat> you know. It's just like when you make a speech. If you ever notice some people, when they make a speech, they got to go, <clears throat> you know, before they start talking and stuff. And they usually have a glass of water. I don't know why, you know, how you going to drink water and talk. I don't really think the water do you any good unless you're already dry, you know, like you're dehydrated before you start the speech. But anyway, y'all. I ordered myself something for Christmas and for Vlogmas, but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I ordered it from Amazon. I will show it to you. It's going to arrive. Let's see, I ordered it. When did I order it? Yesterday or the day before? Well, well anyway, it's not coming. It must have been yesterday because it's going to come tomorrow. You will see, y'all. You're going to see what I ordered, and it's going to be, it's going to be, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how good it's going to be, but I thought it was kind of nice to have. So, you know, I ordered it, and I'm sort of anticipating it, you know, for it to come. I'm happy. I'm like a kid. Oh, I'm waiting for Santa. You know, I already ordered the um, box of, um, I think I showed you the Christmas trees or the Reese's uh, Christmas trees that I ordered. I ordered a whole box of that. See the little, I still got the box. See the little trees that come individually wrapped. Here is the, eh, let me get down here with my trash. I ain't taking my trash out because it's too wet. See, this is the box that came in. And I, I was thinking of decorating the box. I said, I could, I could, you know, somebody who wanted to DIY. Now, they could DIY this. You know, all you got to do is cover it because it's already shaped like a Christmas tree. And I thought that was really cute. And I was I was holding on for it, for, to it for a little while. And then my son comes along. And he sees it sitting up there on the table. I'm like, are you saving this? And he was getting ready to throw it in the trash can. <laughs> I said, well, I was going to see if I could make a DIY out of it, you know, for the holidays. Which I still could use it if I really wanted to. I could cover it, you know, with red paper or something or green and make a tree and just draw some little decoration. I don't know. 
I better leave the DIY to the DIY people because I ain't the one. I'm a creator of a... I wish this... Every time I get on this phone, I don't know if somebody is texting me. Oh, motion to check. That's all it is. Hmm. Oh well, I'm not even, I'm gonna I'm turn it off. How about that? See how they like that? You know, when I'm on the phone, because it keeps going, doo -doo -doo -doo. you know that sound that it makes. And it's annoying after a while, you know, when it keeps right on, you know, especially back to back. Oh, that pot is really whistling, y'all. It must know I'm hungry, so it's hurrying up, it's getting it ready. Because my belly is growling. Like I said, I was a little bit busy, a little bit, but not a whole lot. Sweeping up a little, you know, crumbs and stuff on the floor, stuff like that, and tidying up the dishes. And then I had my and my bathroom sink. Clean that up. And then I had to mop around the toilet because I kept, like, I smell a little pee-pee. And I couldn't understand why am I smelling pee-pee around my toilet. But my little grandson had been here, y'all. You already know how that goes. He was here. <laughs> I guess he can't got it right yet. <laughs> he got no aim. He got no aim, okay? But it was just, you know, I could just smell it like when I would sit down. I'm like, I know it's not coming from me. No, it ain't nothing but a home though, cause I had to smell it. So, but anyway, I wiped, I wiped the uh, around that. I didn't do the whole bathroom, cause you know I didn't feel like moving the rugs and all that. So I just got my mop and you know did that and did that, clean up a little bit, tidy up a little bit in the bathroom. And I hate my bathroom rugs, by the way. Matter of fact, I said I had never bought anything from Coles, but I did. I bought those bathroom rugs in there. There's two of them, but I put them side by side to. Because, you know, I don't know how big they are. But I got them from Coles. I think that must have been about three years ago. Because I have, like, I don't even know I have, I've had those in the bathroom for about three years. And it's time to change, y'all. It's time for a change. And so, because, what do I get ready to say? Oh, those rugs that are in the bathroom, they catch lint. They don't tear up, wash beautifully. I mean, nothing wrong with them, you know, as far as that goes. And a whole lot of shedding. They don't do that. They good. They good, I got to tell you. I think the two of them was 40 some, but I had gotten a discount because I had taken something, me and my granddaughter, I remember it well now. We had taken something back to uh, Kohl's, you know, from Amazon. And... When I took them back, I think I had a key. You, you know how to give that uh, discount, some kind of discount or off. I don't know, 10%, 15 whatever, however percentage it was. They ended up costing like 40 some dollars. And they are, in a way of speaking, worth it. But the, my only complaint is the lint. You know, I don't know where the lint's coming from. It's not coming from the rugs it's coming from i don't know i can't even describe it but that's just my only pet peeve about those rugs you know uh, but it is time for a change i just haven't decided i want to go really really light in my bathroom close to white and beige i want to go white lights in the bathroom but i want to see it you know probably I don't know, Macy's departments are not like they used to be. You remember years ago, Macy's had one of the best linen departments, bath and, you know, oh boy, Macy's, what happened to you? But anyway, I think they still got a little something, something going there. And I don't know what happened to Fieldcrest. They used to have Fieldcrest sheets. Do they still have those? You know, I haven't bought anything like that. The only thing, last thing I bought at Macy's was that comforter. That I got in my bedroom. And my daughter had given it to me for Christmas, I think. <coughs> and I think I had taken it, taken something back and changed it. It was something like that. But that was the last thing I can remember buying at Macy's except those bedroom shoes. 
And, uh, but I remember back in the day, Macy's was the place to go. I mean, in some cases, it still is. You know, it's, I'm not going to knock it too bad. Because you still get some pretty good deals there at Macy's. As a matter of fact, I want to go there for me a coat. Uh, the last time, I, I'm not going to order one. Because the last time I ordered one, it comes back. I loved the coat after I got it. It was fine. But what was wrong with it? Too small. And I ordered my size. But I should have known better. Macy's sometimes run small. Well, anyway, y'all, I'm about to hang up the video. Because as soon as these cabbage, I got to make my, my uh, cornbread. And as soon as these cabbages are ready. I was going to make some potato salad, but I don't know if I got enough eggs. Let me see. I think I got maybe two eggs. I don't know, y'all. I need one for the cornmeal, the cornbread. I need one. What is this? Oh, that's ham. I forgot about my ham. Oh, my goodness. I got three. Look like a hen just laid up. Look at that. You, can you see that, y'all? It looked like a hen just laid that one. I don't know what that is, doo doo. Hmm, boy. Anyway, I guess got I got I got uh, three eggs, which is two. Two would be good enough to uh, make my uh, potato salad, but I can't use the one with the doo doo on it. I gotta wash that doo doo off. <laughs> Why the damn them selling me an egg with doo doo on it? I don't think I, I think that's what it is, y'all. It looks like doo doo to me. What did it look like to y'all? I go with love.